General Hospital Spoilers Will Marty's return to town mean a do-over for him and Lucy? Hello everyone, my name is Tara G. Welcome to my channel. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. Spoilers for General Hospital reveal Michael E. Knight's character Martin Marty Gray returns to Port Charles at Sunny Corinto's. Maurice Bernard, Invitation The fans have further concerns with Marty's return to town, but the Don is occupied with making sure Nancy Lee Grant's character, Alexis Davis, gets fair legal counsel to shield her from being held accountable for the murder of FBI agent John Jagger Cates, Adam Harrington. We haven't seen him since Scott Baldwin, Ken Schreiner, and Lucy Ko, Lynn Herring, literally rolled in the hay, breaking his heart. Naturally, Lucy had a good explanation for why she believed Mary was done with her at the moment. She just took five minutes to move on. But it may not seem like it to Marty because she hasn't actually moved on yet. Is there any possibility that these two may reignite their lost love? Spoilers for General Hospital Lucy Spencer appears to be doing well. Lucy seemed to have a more organized life than before. Working on a well-known case that he is confident will pay off, Scott is working out of town. Put another way, even if he isn't now in the way, Marty's style will nonetheless be hindered by his return. He knows he can expect Lucy to put her decades-long relationship with Scott on hold in order to make him feel better. But he also can't just ignore what occurred. It could appear impossible for Marty and Lucy to get over their differences from where he is sitting. However, that won't deter her from trying. GA spoilers. It looks like we don't know where Marty Gray is. It's also possible that Marty felt at ease returning to Port Charles since he's moved on from the whole Lucy fiasco. There's no denying that their relationship was dramatic at times. He did tell her a falsehood and omit the information concerning his ex-wife's identity and her connection to the deceptor. His falsehoods did almost lose Lucy her business, which has had to make significant changes to survive. Marty could have been enjoying his greatest life all along. We might be wrong, and he has already moved on. Spoilers for General Hospital Laura Collins might weigh in, any suggestion that Marty and Lucy should give it another go may meet with resistance from Marty, particularly if it comes from Lucy. However, as he is aware that Lucy is not her favorite person, he could be open to listening to his sister Laura Collins, Ginny Francis. Naturally, Marty could still be grieving, but seeing Lucy again might make him less strong enough for Laura's sobering advice to sink in. After all, when Marty left town, Laura saw firsthand how incredibly eager Lucy was to put things right. It was obvious that she was also devastated. Can Marty overlook her transgression? Watch this space for further GH updates and spoilers. General Hospital Spoilers Michael E. Knight is back this week, and Martin Gray makes a splashing return. Michael E. Knight will make his soap opera return this week as Martin Gray, according to General Hospital teasers and updates. He talks candidly about his most recent appearance on Soap Opera Digest, Soabi, as Laura Collins' half-brother and brother to Cyrus Renault, Jeff Cover. Spoilers for General Hospital indicate that Michael E. Knight, who has been absent from the show for several months, is scheduled to return this week as Martin. He has been off since February 2024 due to a planned hiatus. After splitting with Lucy Ko, Lynn Herring, in February of last year, his character, Martin Gray, last departed town. With her former partner, Scotty Baldwin, Ken Schreiner, Lucy had been caught by Martin in the act of rolling in the hay. Naturally, this contributed to her appearing more like the Dick than Knight's earlier All My Children AMC character, Tad the Cad Martin. Knight's hiatus was originally scheduled to span just three months, but because of changes in the show's writing staff, Martin's return was postponed. In regards to the character's potential role in G.A.'s future plot, the actor acknowledged his doubts. By August, I found myself thinking, well, it's all good, no worries, he admits. G.A. spoilers. Michael E. Knight thanks the show for everything.
His profound appreciation was a result of the amazing experience he had had thus far on the show. When I was figuring out my health insurance, a work requirement, Frank Valentini, the executive producer, first brought me on board to work with Roger Howarth, whose character Franco was represented by attorney Martin. Later on, it was revealed that Martin and Cyrus were Laura's half-brothers and that Martin was also a lawyer for Valentin Cassidy, James Patrick Stewart. I will always be grateful to Frank for what he did, since those four days of working on GH blossomed into four amazing years, Knight says to Saad. Knight goes on to say, I'm just one grateful guy. It felt like I had already hit the jackpot. I had no reason to complain about those four days turning into four years. Spoilers for General Hospital. More unexpected shifts with writer shuffles. Martin finds himself back in the limelight after the GH writing team had a change in leadership, with Chris Van Etten and Elizabeth Court taking over. Shortly after, Valentini got in touch with Knight to talk about playing the same part again. Knight declares, I will always be completely loyal to Frank. I was overjoyed when Frank contacted me to let me know that I had returned and to reveal the specifics of Martin's plot. Knight implies that Martin will have a significant part, even if he is unwilling to disclose all the details of Martin's return to poor Charles. We might assume this, at least, might be a part of the current plot, which centers around Lulu Spencer, now former AMC castmate Alexa Havens, needing a liver transplant. G.H. Spoilers Michael discusses his history as Tad Martin and his Martin Gray part. Martin makes a lighthearted comparison between his work and Paprika, stating, I used to tell people that my role on General Hospital is like Paprika when they would ask me what it is. Even if you don't use it much, it gives the mixture some taste. Having been in the soap opera industry for almost 30 years, as Tad Martin on All My Children from 1982, he is aware of the artistic advantages of his recurrent role on General Hospital. According to Knight, being the newcomer in a soap opera is perfect because after you've gotten married to Dixie Cooney, Katie McLean, three times, you're in a difficult situation. It's a sign you've stayed too long if they bring her back to life a third time without giving any reason, so you may ride out into the sunset. Spoilers for General Hospital. Happy to be back. Now that Chris Van Etten is back, I get to be a new addition for Chris twice because he's the one who created Martin, he says. Returning to the bustling world of Port Charles, Knight is ecstatic to be reunited with the creative ensemble, which includes some old names from his AMC days. He was thrilled to welcome Eva LaRue, Natalia, formerly Maria, AMC, into the fold because he knew Maurice Bernard, Sonny, formerly Nico, AMC, and Ginny Francis, Laura, formerly Sira, AMC, from that era. What am I to say of her? Knight beamingly said, We've been friends for 30 years, and she's gorgeous and amazing. It was wonderful to see her once more. The cherry on top, Knight expressed gratitude for another chance to play Martin after learning during the sub interview that Alexa Havens had been replaced as Lulu. Make sure to read up on all that GH has been up to lately. For news, updates, and spoilers about General Hospital, check back here frequently. General Hospital Spoilers Mac rejects relationship. Cody's worst nightmare comes true. According to General Hospital, GH, teasers, viewers may finally receive some closure regarding Josh Kelly's character Kobe Bell. Now that Mac Scorpio, John J. York, has made his way back to Port Charles. Naturally, due to actor John J. York's health problems at the time, the plot about Mac being Cody's father was put on wait for a while. He's back on set now that he's recovered completely from his therapy, allowing this narrative to continue. Will Mac first reject Cody after learning that he is his son? After all, in the world of soap operas, there always has to be some drama before a happily ever after. Spoilers for General Hospital Max Scorpio has become an incredible father. According to GH teasers, every indication suggests that Mac will be taken aback upon learning that Cody is his son. However, given his kindness, 
it stands to reason that he would greet Cody warmly and be eager to start a connection with him, particularly considering that he has never given birth to a biological child of his own and that he was prepared to raise his stepdaughters, Georgie Jones, Lynn's Leatherman, and Maxie Jones, Kirsten Storms, as well as his niece, Robin Scorpio Drake, Kimberly McCullough, even after he was cut off from their mother. Cody is about to tell Mac the truth, but if someone gets to Scorpio before him, it might lead to tension between them. G.H. Spoilers Although Mac Scorpio is a wonderful man, even great men have their limitations. According to G.H. Teasers, Cody will reveal his secret to Tracy Quartermain, Jane Elliott, and there's a strong possibility that Tracy may unintentionally inform Mac before Cody can. Mac could take offense at this for a number of reasons. First of all, Mac will find it bothersome that Tracy and Sasha Gilmore, Sophia Matson, are aware that he is Cody's father even if he isn't. Scorpio will be offended since Cody went to such measures to conceal his actual parentage, not to mention the motivation for Cody's deception. It will also be difficult to overcome for anybody other than Cody to learn that he is the father of Cody. Though Mac is a sensible man, when the truth is out, would he have a problem with Cody? Before they build a genuine relationship, there will probably be some obstacles, am I right? Will Mac turn Cody down at first? Post a comment below. Watch GH every day on ABC to keep up with all the drama. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and stay with us.